Hey Libra Nation! Welcome to my channel. My name is Made for Love and we're here to do a love reading for you for March 2019. Okay, so I've already pre-shuffled pre and we're going to get into the reading before, but before I do that, I just want to let you know that I do do personal readings for donations of any amount. If you donate less than $10, you get a picture of the spread that I pull for you. And if you donate more than $10, then you get a video recording of the reading, okay? Um, so we're going to have a look at your energy and the energy of the person that you're watching this recording for. This is going to be your pile and this is going to be their pile. But I mean, when we lay out the cards, you might find that you might resonate more with this pile than this. Because, I mean, it's energy, so it can inter interchange, okay? Let me just get a little sip of water. Okay, great. All right, so I've pre-shuffled, so I'll just do uh, minor shuffle again. So this is Libra, March 2019. Is somebody thinking about taking a leap of faith and forming a new partnership? And are they being divinely guided to do this? As a result of a transformation that's what I'm seeing so far somebody wants a stable new beginning in love they want love again all right so and many in all relationship all right so when you think about your person, logically, how do you view them? This is for the cross watchers. How do you view them, Libra? Ooh, it's a waiting game. So there's something here about divine timing. Um, you're waiting for something to align because if you look at this card, you'll see the little swirls here. It looks like planets. Somebody's waiting for something to align. The planets to align. They're waiting for something to come in. In order to make this new love offer. They're waiting for something. Let me get, a, let me get two other cards. And maybe that will help. Maybe that should help. Let's see. May I have two other cards for the headspace please? Yeah. Let's get this one. Ooh. There's been a heartache. Heartache and third parties, probably. Maybe somebody's waiting to come out of a situation. Let's see what else. Ooh. Somebody's waiting to come out of a marriage. Either way, there's lots of passion here, but there's been heartbreak. There's been heartbreak. There's been heartbreak in some kind of committed situation. Let me see if this helps. Yes, yeah, somebody had a choice in love or somebody's trying to make a choice in love. Somebody has a choice between two or many. <laughs> and they're trying to make the, wise, the right choice. And I think they do know who is their home, who is their mate for life. But they don't want to make a misstep. So they're trying to like, get in touch with their intuition and be guided. There's a lot of obstacles. A lot of obstacles. Somebody's feeling left out in the cold. Hmm. So, so far on the board, air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have fire energy, Leo. Um... Sagittarius, Aries. We have water energy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And we do have Earth. Capricorn, Tor Capricorn Taurus, and Virgo. Alright. Okay, so. Alright. Anything I Now, in this pile, I don't read reversals. But I read reversals in this pile. And if it comes out sideways, I'm going to read it upright. So, when they think about you, they see, they think that you're full of passion that you're someone that's very responsible 
you're passionate but kind you're firm very sexual there's fire energy but you're stable too they either want to give you a an offer in the material world and again here there's earth energy here they want to give you an offer in the material world or maybe they're expecting you to give them an offer in the material world but the slow offer they're taking their time too or maybe they're seeing you as someone that's taking their time to make a decision right, let's see Libra 2019 Libra okay fire energy here fire energy here and the commitment card is upside down is in reverse so there's some kind of delay in this commitment and I feel like somebody is trying to come out of another committed situation because we had it here as well someone is trying to come out of another committed situation they don't want to be wishy-washy they want to give the other person a stable offer I'll take one more card they want to give the other person a stable offer yeah they want to give the other person marriage that's Taurus energy here I think there's going to be an end of a committed situation and the beginning of another committed situation all right in the heart space when Libra takes up thinks about their love interest they think about forming a partnership and alliance and this is a three card here and we had a three card here so this is telling me third party this there's a third party situation okay there is a third fourth fifth or sixth party situation I really do believe that and somebody's trying to find balance it's a temperance card they're trying to find balance because there's a decision that they need to make but they see you as a balanced individual someone whose emotional spiritual mental and physical sense physical cells are in alliance they see you as someone that can nurture this relationship from its embryonic stages into this beautiful pure white living thing financial material changes they think that if they come towards you that they're gonna experience some kind of financial loss or you think that you're gonna experience some kind of financial loss but you do want victory and success with this person so there's a lot of conflicting emotions here at least on your side let's see when this person thinks about you ooh. They think that this relationship has ended. They want to see an end to the juggling. Or maybe they they don't want to juggle anymore. This is earth energy, water energy. There's been secrets. This water energy here, Cancer specifically. I think there's been secrets in this relationship. The moon. Let me get another card. I got three more. Yeah, they think that the cycle is closed for you guys. They're still hopeful. This fire energy, fixed signs. They're still hopeful that hopeful that there's a chance for this relationship or there could be a child involved and maybe they were healing but now they want to come out of this healing energy and lay down their burden something in this relationship has been burdensome and they're ready to get rid of it and it could be secrets okay so for the cross watcher what can we expect from libra by the end of march Ooh, they're gonna stand up in their empress energy 
that's Libra and a Taurus another three cards so I do think the party energy all right oh good god still anxious still suffering in silence what else but Libra you know that this person is your destiny you know that you know that this person is your destiny and we have the truth card on the bottom so there's some truth that needs to be said even though this is also this is the judgment card it's a judgment card somebody needs to answer the call of destiny a cycle is only open for you guys could have met this person on the internet as well okay so on this side what can we expect from libra's love interest by the end of march by the end of march what can we expect from libra's love interest by the end of march oh soulmate card they want to be balanced and fair and they want to put an end to the conflict they see you as their soulmate, Libra. And they want the conflict to end and they want to be treated fairly. Or they want to treat you fairly. Let's get a romance, Angel. Spirit, may we have a romance, Angel, for this connection. Let's get a romance, Angel. Oh, God. Alright, if none pops out this time, I am going to pull. I'm going to pull cards. I am. I'm taking this one. And it says, Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together. So definitely some kind of, some higher form of commitment is on, is in the cards. Okay, and what do we have here? It says, keep an open mind. Your soulmate <laughs> may differ from your usual type and expectations. You know, I always say, you know, everybody has a type until you find someone that you like. When that happens and, you know, all these little imprints and templates that you've had in your head kind of goes out the window. And it also says, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay, so there may be people around you that can help you, you know, bring this relationship together. And if you look at this card, they're getting her ready for marriage. So maybe there's someone around you that can help you bring this relationship together. But I also see divine guidance here as well because there's a little angel that's kind of sitting on her shoulder. So this is um, being guided as well. Okay. All right. So we're just going to get an oracle card. No, we're going to get a message from the fairies. Yeah. And now we get a girl, an oracle card. It says, get some exercise. As your body becomes stronger, you begin to feel stronger in all ways. So, you know, it's really calling for you to get outdoors, get grounded. If you've been feeling depressed, really get outside and get some exercise. That really is going to help you in this situation. And you never know. Whilst you're out there, you get new ideas as to, you know, how to get this connection back on track all right so i'll just get some an oracle card for you all right it says it's a number five and we had quite a lot of fives it says no place like home so maybe this person is your home there's a light on inside 
someone looking at the sky. It's probably protected. It's protected. No place like home. Maybe this person is your home. Okay, let me read the guidance for you. Okay. It's card number 50. And it says... Lovers, friends, and companion animals are at home in your life right now. You are in sync and full of love, and you can be secure in the knowledge that it is reciprocated. Relationships elicit a sense of emotional stability, comfort, and the best aspects of familiarity now. Be home in this relationship. Together, you add to the love of the world. So you know what? What I'm getting here is it's safe to love and it's safe to build a solid foundation with this person they really do love you they have lots of feelings for you and they're committed to this cause all right okay so libra that was your reading i hope you enjoyed it and remember only love is real and you were made to love all right bye